Today we begin with a meditation to create peace for humanity and the planet Earth. So make yourself very comfortable with your eyes closed. So if you find yourself focused or feeling that narrow vision right now, take a minute while still grounded to consciously let go or push out any boundaries that you may have. You are more than ever to give yourself credit for. You are an amazing creator. You have created in a multitude of different lifetimes upon earth. You have created during time spent in the universe. You are creating every minute of the day as you move through your days. Remember you are divine. Remember that you are glorious and have such infinite potential. I speak to you for a few minutes speaking these words that are truth, speaking these words that are reality. Feel how good that is. Feel what you feel like this in this moment. This is something that you can also do for yourself. Believe in yourself. Open to the potential. Feel what this is to you. I invite each one of you to take one more breath allowing yourself to breathe deeply as if you follow that breath it moves down your legs through your heart and into your core essence of who you are from there have a sense of reaching up or reaching out letting go of your physical body Allow your consciousness to shift into the space of the magnetic grid. If you so choose, you have the ability to shift straight into the soul plane or even the all that is. But when you take it step by step, as we normally do, it allows you to be fully aware of these various dimensions, these various shifts in consciousness that are here to assist you in your daily life. Within the magnetic grid, immense transformation is taking place. Feel what your space is like within here. You have created a space in which your higher self resides. You also have created alignment with many other people. This is one of the places to which you come to communicate with them. Perceive what that feels like in this moment. You perceive your friends. You perceive those with whom you may not have a name yet. You recognize their vibration. This is another way in which you may recognize the community of souls which make up your light workers. You, the enlightened ones, you who are Shambra, you who are the essence of brotherhood. There are many different names that you have used throughout the years and some currently. It is simply the shared vibration of family. Family brings up that essence of people that have something in common. 
Well, I smile because some of you say, well, your family is not, may be, what you choose. And indeed, that is sometimes the case. But this is a family of choice. A family that is loving, supportive and nurturing of you. Just as you are of everybody else around here. So in this magnetic grid, be very aware of who you are and that there are so many others here with you. The merging of the crystalline and magnetic grid is taking place and it has been for a number of years. For today's experience, I would like each one of you to take an opportunity and shift your consciousness as if looking outward and this time let your consciousness open. Take a deep breath in whatsoever you need to do but draw on your own crystalline vibration and invite in the energies of the crystalline grid and feel it as it comes into you and into this space. For some it may feel even more profound than what you have felt in the past. Others may recognize this is nothing new this has been going on for quite some time. Part of the difference is that we consciously draw in that crystal vibration. We consciously bring it in to ourselves and then it moves, it merges. It moves out from you and it merges with all of the energies and vibrations around you. Move through this blending until you shift into the aspect which is no longer blended with the magnetic grid. You are shifting into the vibration of the crystals that have not yet found an alignment within the Earth's atmosphere. So feel what this is. Feel how easily you move between the two. It's almost as if, with hindsight, you've let go of the magnetic grid. The more that these energies of the magnetic grid align with the crystals, the less the definite pull is there going to be felt. This is a part of the transformation that has been taking place with the ascension of the Earth into the fourth dimension. With our last journey we spoke of the new Earth and those various dimensions that link, link to the physical Earth on which you live. And the new Earth those are also in alignment with this crystalline vibration or this crystalline grid. Many of you have been working with these energies since our last time together and you feel yourself shifting immediately into that space with which you align. If you have not yet considered it, through your attention move into the essence of the new earth which with you are in alignment right now. As you are within this space, recognize that it may look very much like the place in which you are living right now. Some of you may find yourself picturing or going to the aspect of the earth that you love so dearly. I encourage you to use this as a means of assisting you with obtaining a new perception of your life. 
Within this vibration, bring up your home, your family, your job, your responsibilities. You find that everything fits in within this space very easily. But also there is a finer, lighter, easier vibration. Take a moment and breathe in this expanded awareness and then have a sense of looking around at your life. Just take a moment. Just breathe in and look around. I hear some of you say this is like looking at your life through rose-coloured glasses. If you so choose, you can look at it that way. You may also consider this is like looking at your life with greater clarity than ever before. This is available to you in your daily life when you move in and out of dimensions. When you move in and out of expansion, you move into this dimension or this perspective. It may not look or feel the same to you, but it is where you come. You move into the magnetic grid very easily with your higher self. And then you also move with a greater flow and ease into this space that is much more crystalline and it is a higher vibration of the earth. Some of you say this is where I want to live all my life. It is becoming more and more of a reality for each of you. The physical earth upon which you live is the physical, is the physical earth. This expanded dimension or this expanded perception is something that you may integrate into your physical earth to allow your greater ease within this life. Some of you are shifting into such a vibration that it is not yet acceptable to the earth plane. You are the ones who feel that you are not bringing back this perspective and indeed you may not be. So whether you bring back a greater amount of what this place actually is or the essence of it, you are still integrating a greater shift and a greater perspective of your life. Consciously create a link Howsoever you want to do it, whether it's seeing a bridge, whether it's creating a loophole, or whether you make a tube or a channel, it is your choice. But create a link so that you will have greater ease in accessing this space. So this has been a little bit of a diversion from what we normally do in our process of moving into expansion. But I wanted each of you to consciously see how smooth and easy it is to move from your physical earth into the magnetic, into the crystalline and into your aspect of the new earth. It is there for you. So now I invite each of you to join me in the all that is. So take a nice deep breath. And as you come into this space, I reach out and embrace your essence. Feel me and feel my love. As you each arrive, some of you may be choosing to remain where you were because you were in the process of something. By all means, I invite, 
invite you to do so. Everyone who has come to join me within this space, I invite you to take this moment and perceive how you feel as you open to my embrace and allowed my energies to move within you. When we usually get together each time, I would embrace you. It would consciously shift you from the soul plane into the all that is. And each one of you expanded in a large way. Tonight, because you have already shared time with yourself within these crystalline dimensions and vibrations, there is less of a noticeable difference between my vibration and your own. It makes me applaud. It makes me giggle. It makes me so happy that you're able to see that for yourself. As each of you are integrating more and more of your own divinity, it allows for me to share an even greater amount of my divinity with you. I thank you for that. Consider your life, consider choices that you have made. As you consider the word choice or choosing, what comes to your mind? For some, I'm hearing judgment of your choices, regret with the choices that you've made. For others, I'm hearing that they choose to live. They choose life, still life, that they want something else. When you think about it, choices is all around you. As you are within this space, recognize that it may look very much like the place in which you are living right now. Some of you may find yourself picturing or going to the aspect of the earth that you love so dearly. I encourage you to use this as a means of assisting you with obtaining a new perception of your life. Within this vibration, bring up your home, your family, your job, your responsibilities. You find that everything fits in within this space very easily. But also, there is a finer, lighter, easier vibration. Take a moment and breathe in this expanded awareness and then have a sense of looking around at your life. Once again, just having a look around. Interesting, just as you looked before, does it look different? It must do, because you have shifted once again. So now I offer you to choose happiness as you are in the space of all that is in this creation. And the opportunity, I invite you to choose opportunity. Within your opportunity around them, you also realize, so invite in abundance. What is abundance to you? How does it feel? What would you do in this space of the all that is? Infinite abundance. In this space of the all that is. In energy, abundance in money, not that we need it in this space, but with your link to the earth people like to work with that. Abundance is potential. Abundance is something that moves out into eternity 
without even description. I invite each one of you to stretch your consciousness or stretch out your arms and soak up abundance that is here. This is not so very far away from you. You remember when you came into the all that is from your expanded state of the crystalline vibration. It is not such a different vibration. So therefore everything within this space is a potential that is available to you in your daily life. How about your health? Are you healthy? Are your muscles, your organs and your bones? Is your physical body supporting you in this endeavor? Become aware of perfect health, of vitality, and let your imagination move into anything else that you may seek to have within your life. Embrace your creation embrace opportunity embrace the potential that is all around you sometimes as a human it makes it easier for you to either have a symbol or to create a word or something that assists you in manifesting whatever it is you seek to have if you so choose be open to perceive a symbol a word a phrase anything that would indicate to you that this is your reality in the days and weeks to come you may find yourself thinking or saying out loud <coughs> picturing this phrase or symbol this word whatever it may be each time that you do you are affirming your belief in yourself you are affirming that you are creating what you seek to have within your life. Feel the love, the joy in this moment. Let go of the struggle that you may have. I am in the midst of all of you. I'm feeling as each one of you is creating your life. And I reflect back anything that you ask of me. I enhance anything, anything at all that you ask of me. It is also becoming more and more evident that each of you are truly stepping into your magnificence, into your potentials and into your abilities. Yes, you are. So much has occurred upon the earth plane that in some regards it is hardly recognisable as the earth. Of course we still see everything that is taking place. We still see the duality, the wars, the anger, the rage, the violence, and yes, the sickness. Yes, that is still here and there. It is still a part of the earth. What is so amazingly different is the density that has so hugely transformed. And it is due to each one of you. It is due to everyone so choosing to create a new reality. It is due to the crystalline vibration coming into the earth. But again the crystalline vibration could not come could not come in until that density was transformed. These are realities. As you are creating your life upon the earth, live that reality and let yourself fly. Allow yourself to move, let yourself simply merge with whatever it is you seek to have. Some of you will begin to see more and more of what might be considered the extraterrestrials, the ships, the beings of light, because there will be greater ease in communication and transportation. 
As you find yourself in this expanded state, is there anything with which you seek to communicate? If so, now is the time. I have a perception that some of you are creating alliances and then through your dream state, through your meditations, through your time of solitude upon the earth, you will create whatever this may be. I invite you to return back within this group. Some of you, it's as if you come from afar. Others, it's as if you have remained within this same space. Each time that you allow your consciousness to journey within this space can be a completely different experience for you. As you are forming that bit of a group, create an opening within the center for the hologram of the earth to come through. So many of you have perceived it. The hologram as being multidimensional. The more that you become aware of those shifts in consciousness or those dimensions that link the new earth with the current earth, the more that you will see as aspects of this hologram. It too continues to change within each of you. I invite you to tap into all of which you choose for yourself. I invite you to reconnect to that bond, that bridge, that tube that aligns you with your aspect of the new earth. Let all of that energy flow from you into this hologram. And as you do so, there is a perception of all those various dimensions or aspects becoming filled with light. This is but a portion, or this is but a perspective. There is so much more than what you see before you. Lady Gaia, as always, comes forth to show her appreciation of you. She reaches out to embrace each one. She reminds you of her presence and encourages you to incorporate her into your own daily life. Allow for this to assist you or bolster your own energies. With that, she'll return within the hologram. From the all that is, you see the hologram as it moves through those various aspects with which you've been working. It moves through the crystalline vibrations, the magnetic grid, and it merges with the physical earth. It goes within crystal, that is within the center of the earth, and from there it radiates outward. It comes up through the grass, the water, and the trees. You may feel it coming up through your own physical body. Feel it right now in this moment. It moves throughout, moving all the way through the magnetic grid and all the way out. And it links with the new earth, creating greater connections, greater abilities for each one of you to utilize as you move through your daily life. Allow your focus to return to the all that is there's still that separation of vibration you feel, but so much more is being integrated every time you align with the physical earth, with the space of the all that is, with your own self and everything in between. I invite you to move into the soul plane. We had bypassed this completely before but find yourself within here. You will find the energies of the soul plane have many different dimensions and those are now integrating within those crystalline vibrations. 
If you choose to come to this aspect of the soul plane, that's a potential. If you choose to align with your divinity within that crystalline aspect, that is another potential. It need not be completely one or the other. It need only be what you choose in any given moment. From here, allow your focus to shift. Feel that essence of the crystalline grid or the crystalline vibration. Feel yourself as you move through, as you move through that space, as you move through your own divinity. You continue until you find yourself within the magnetic grid. Feel that magnetic pull of the earth. Feel what it is to be within this space, to be your higher self. And from there, I invite you to create, create any deeper alliance or any conscious choice that will allow this to assist you in your daily life. Let that energy, let your energy flow into you, your human self, you as your biology. As your consciousness returns, you may need to expand the energy field around you. In this moment, as you reconnect fully with who you are, reach outward or upward or however you want to perceive it and link with the magnetic grid. Reach beyond that into your alignment with the crystalline. That alignment that is an aspect of the new earth and allow for the connection to be strengthened. Look around with your mind's eye, you see everything is as you left it, but you also see with new eyes. Look around. You see with the eyes of creation and with the vision of unlimited potential that there is more here than you ever re realized. Recognize that you may always come back into this potential, that you may always expand into this space of contentment and belief in yourself. Let the love flow. Let the abundance flow. Let the potentials from now until affinity flow within and around you and as you continue enjoy that space allow your conscious to be more fully returned into your human self and so it is and I thank you for coming on this journey with me today I am Rosalie Muir